Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Argha and I am here to provide various information about the places I visit. This time, let's explore Debru Sekwa. We started our journey from the Guijan Ghat. We had previously booked our houseboat. Otherwise, there are other boats which can be booked on spot. We had to reach the other bank to have our breakfast which was pre-booked. So as soon as our boat arrived, we boarded it. I learned many things on this trip. Assam is rich in water resources. Our economy can be hugely benefited if these resources are utilized in a proper way. And developing river tourism is one of them. Many people are earning their livelihood by carrying goods and passengers on their boats. We reached the other bank. Then we were taken to a huge houseboat. After some refreshment, we explored the nearby areas and had lots of fun. I don't know whatever this song is. Selfie le le. Now we are going to explore the Dibru Saiko National Park. I'm really very excited. Come. Dibru Saikwa National Park is a designated biosphere reserve located in Dibrugar and Tinsuka districts. The park is bounded by the Brahmaputra and Luhit rivers in the north and Dibru River in the south. It mainly consists of moist mixed semi-evergreen forests, moist mixed deciduous forests and grasslands. It is the largest salic swam forest in northeastern India with a tropical monsoon climate with a hot and wet summer and cold and usually dry winters. Apart from carrying passengers and goods, fishing is also an important occupation of local people there. The national park is famous for the feral horses which are spotted mostly during the rainy season. There are 400 species of birds in the national park and we were lucky to come across a few of them. First, we came across Cormorant, a bird which is known as Panikauri in Assamese. Then we saw the wild ducks called ruti shell ducks. They are migratory birds. They have a loud honking call. Like the hornbills, these birds never pair again if they lose their mate. As we moved further, we spotted many villages on the bank of the Dibru river. Then we came across a flock of cormorants again. Our guide did not provide much information about the cormorants, but he said that cormorants look like penguins when they walk. Yes, indeed they do. As you can see one of them walking like a penguin. The bird which you can see now is the oriental darter or commonly called snake bird. It is hunting for fish while its body is submerged in water with its slender neck visible. Then we halted for a while on the confluence spot of the Brahmaputra and the Dipru rivers to see river dolphins. It's really difficult to walk on sand. After waiting for about one hour, we luckily spotted the river dolphins. A very few of them are spotted nowadays. You may rewind the video to see them again. After our lucky encounter with the South Asian river dolphins, we sailed back to the point where we had started our journey. But, 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 before that we experienced the mesmerizing sunset. As the sun descended to the horizon, the blend of several colors created a breathtaking vicinity. Friends, if you ever plan to visit, then you may check out several resorts situated there. 
the resorts have facilities like paragliding, horse riding, banana boats, etc. Really very interesting, right? You can camp there and also have a bonfire. And hence, our beautiful trip ended. I am going to visit this place again. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel.